did not stand up for me, did not say, no, my child has to come in the house. I had no idea what sex was. I didn't know what was happening to me. Oprah breaks down in tears as she recalls being repeatedly raped by her 19-year-old cousin at age 9 during mental health series with Prince Harry. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel. This channel is dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. Oprah Winfrey broke down in tears while recalling the horrific experience of being repeatedly raped by her own adult cousin when she was just 9 years old. 9 and 10 and 11 and 12 years old. I was raped by my 19 year old cousin. I didn't know what rape was. Certainly wasn't aware of the word. I had no idea what sex was. I had no I had no idea. I had no idea where babies came from. I didn't even know what was happening to me. The 67-year-old TV mogul opened up about the lasting trauma caused by the sexual assaults that she was subjected to until the age of 14 while speaking in her new mental health series, The Me You Can't See, which she created in collaboration with Prince Harry. Speaking in her new Apple TV Plus series, she stressed why it is so important to share what happened to her. The telling of the story, the being able to say out loud, this is what happened to me, is crucial, she said. She elaborated in a passage in her new book, as a young girl, I was whooped regularly. A doctor explained to her that the girls were suffering from trauma, having been exposed to so much chaos, the brain can't handle to be in a place of calm and nurturing and support. In the exchange with Dr. Oz, Oprah painted a broader picture of her upbringing in rural Mississippi, noting how her grandmother was facing her own abuse at the hands of Oprah's grandfather, and how she still has lingering trauma about sleeping. In my opinion, it is very sad to hear such bad things happen to her. I do hope she gets the help she needs and finds whatever resolution she is seeking. I condone all forms of violence. There was a time when you would only share these types of details with a trained professional that was under an oath to never reveal or discuss your information. It is called physician-patient privilege, and it is bound by law. But, here you have more and more celebrities telling the entire world their personal traumas. It was interesting to hear that she is promoting her book and new show. Again, in my opinion people know drama sells, and these people are capitalizing on this to make money. Yesterday, I did a video on the rise of trauma culture, and I recommend you watch that video as well. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.